Hello, my name is Yorogama Obofo-Ribo. My name is Mavis Marshall Lidio. My name is Davis Okewo. I'm the season one winner of the next Titan Business Reality TV Show. I'm the season two winner of the next Titan Reality TV Show. I am the next Titan season three winner. My business idea is a mobile business brand. It's a business on the move and a business on the go. My business idea is simple but unique. I intend to use recyclable materials to create furnitures, materials ranging from tires, metals, wood, glass, to create furnitures that are not just um, unique and um, functional but also very affordable. Have you, so, have you started selling some of them? Or? Not really. I've sold just to very close friends, but not out there. Did you, Family produce, and you, friends. you produce all these ones, yeah? Handmade by myself. Oh, yes. okay. The boot camp is a serene environment far away from the hustle and bustle of the city. This is where they will be made to show the judges that they have what it takes to get to where they need to be in order to become the next title. and see the next titan amongst this crowd. It is now time to discover how effectively contestants can function as members of a group. It is a well-known fact that the ability to function productively within a group is a notable business trait. It is all glitz and glamour at the ballroom of Oriental Hotel Victoria Island Lagos, venue of the premiere of the next Titan. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This are the next Titans. So you are here to cross fertilize each other. Mm. Not to be they all agree with her on the need to cross fertilize each other. I haven't said that it's time for fun. Yeah. <laughs> Apologies to Road to Me. You are not being considered for eviction. So, welcome back. Victoria, you are staying. Victoria is the viewer's choice. That leaves us with you two gentlemen. I'm going to give you. Um, one minute each, just to explain why you should stay. Um, if anyone asks me one single reason why I would like to stay in this house, out of so many reasons that I've got, is that I'm telling you that I'm a young entrepreneur with a dynamic ability that's not enough. But then, over time, and I've always anticipated and aspired to find myself in this kind of um, situation so that I can learn from the judges. And it wasn't a coincidence finding myself here. I've been learning, and I would like to also learn more. Paula Han, I'm sorry. You need to leave, please. Unhappy as he may seem, he is focused and ready to put all he has learned to good use in his business. You are the winner. You are the next Titan. You're Gamma Obofuribo, the CEO of Hair Heaven Limited, a company that manufactures beauty products, specifically hair care products in Nigeria, and we also render beauty services to women around the country. Davis, you are the winner. Davis Okewo, the executive officer of Enterprise, a management consulting firm that helps businesses put proper structures in place, uh, more specifically financial structures, accounting structures. The next Titan, Series 3, Marvis. <laughs> I'm Marvis Marshall Lidio. I'm the dog recycler. Um, I turn trash to furniture pieces. You 
have to relentlessly pursue opportunities, not recklessly. The operating world there is relentless. I'd say that um, Heritage Bank is definitely one that supports small businesses, not just businesses. I'd say small businesses because they um, they not they not only do advisory, they not only do counselling to you, but they also actually look for ways to bring their customers together. So if they feel that you're a customer of the bank and you're a customer, and you can benefit from each other. They find a way to link that relationship, and which which is good for the bank and good for both customers. So I'd say that um, Heritage Bank has definitely just supporting the next size and the loan has is, the, is evident of that that they're looking to ensure that young people, young businesses have an opportunity to thrive, have an opportunity to grow with the right guidance, the right advice, um, an advisory team behind them and hopefully access to funding as well. The team has been really helpful and when I say the team, it covers a large um, spectrum. There is FICOMS, the organizers of Next Titan, they've been really tremendous in, in, in their help. The, we have the judges of the show who have been really instrumental. I mean, I've even gotten referrals from clients. So there's Heritage Bank uh, whose vision aligns with ours and you know, they've really helped us in fine tuning you know, what our strategic direction is, you know, there is Ford uh, and all of the other, even even the people that I competed with on the show have also been helpful with, interacted, I've helped their businesses, they've helped mine in one way or the other. Generally speaking, the next item has been an amazing experience of growth for me, for my business and for everything that I represent. Prior to being on the show, I had the opportunity to meet different mentors. We got to meet the Heritage Bank CEO, Mr. Ife Sekibu. I remember very well during one of our meetings, the meeting we had with him, he made a statement. He said something about when you fail, because you will definitely fall along the line, but when you fail, make sure you fall forward. And for me, that was very interesting, and I enjoyed the passion with which he delivered his message to us then. You could see he was very interested in the young minds, and for me, it was very encouraging that someone cared about the Nigerian dream. I don't understand, ladies, why you chose a product that takes so long for people to buy into when you've only got two days. You need to plan. Business is about planning as much as anything else. We need a compelling five minutes of, of the presentation. I would say that over the years, before I come into this current economy, one of my biggest challenges of this year was, as with every small business, finance, you know, getting financial support. So, the, uh, we'd like you'd recommend to any startup, you depend on angel investors, you depend on friends, family, savings, maybe continue to run your 9 to 5 job and use part of your salary and you throw it back into your business. So, I did all of those things. I did those, like side businesses, side hustles on the side to just sort of generate the revenue that I needed to invest into my business, to grow it, to scale it up. Then I did the next Titan show I won, I got the funds. It's been very interesting and challenging, uh, but then I've got good help uh, from the mentors that I met on the show, the judges, they've been really instrumental. But then as, as you know, I apply myself to the process, uh, you get to learn a lot, you get to receive feedback from the market and you get to improve on your service delivery. So it's been a very challenging journey, but that is what entrepreneurship is about. It's a journey of discovering challenges, solving them, getting bigger challenges, solving them, and that is how you grow. Before the show, I wasn't able to produce most of my stuff with machines. I had to use, do a lot of things with my hand, and it was a hard process. And being a woman, you can imagine what I had to go through. And the chest pains, the drugs, and, and then you don't even get to see so much beauty in the finishing of whatever you had to do. But now, uh, after the show, after the prize money, which of course, was um, majorly backed up by Heritage Bank and um, I've been able to acquire a lot of machines. We've started production. Um, we've been able to produce a lot. We're having an exhibition soon and um, our products will be available to Nigerians. Why do I come and sit down in front of young people as if I have nothing better to do? It's so that I can get ideas and see something that gives me hope that as a country, as a nation, as a people that we're going somewhere. What we've had to do is to at least try to stay at cost currently, evolve the business to now provide beauty services. So we're no longer just so 
solely focused on our product manufacturing instead we are now opening up other avenues that are still related to the business so we can generate internally generated revenue that's not dependent on whether the foreign exchange goes up or down um, to sort of stabilize us as a company during this season and it's been it's been a good model because now so I'm expanding my coast I'm expanding the model of the business, expanding the vision of the business. Basically what we do is we help businesses set up and maintain their accounting structures. So we come into a business, we do a system audit to find out what is existing and what is not. And then we put in place the bookkeeping system that keeps track of the day-to-day -day, you know, financial activities. We also help them file their taxes and register for a couple of things like that. So. Um, you know, that is practically what we do, but most importantly, it's not about cooking up the numbers. It's about making sense of the numbers. So financial advisory is one of the biggest cues of our business. We look at the numbers and we interpret the numbers vis-a-vis -vis what it means for business strategy, business growth, business development. We hope to break even soon. Like, we, we're working on it. It's a growing process, like I said, and um, we are planning to have an exhibition. It's going to be a big one in a very prestigious place in Port Harcourt. And hopefully after that launch would be a brand to, in terms of um, furniture production, in terms of um, interior design works. So once we can make ourselves that known brand, I think we would be able to achieve a lot more. I'm a very hardworking person and I brought that into the team. Creating awareness for the business still comes down to funding. It still comes down to the ability to be able to um, channel the funds that I have to ensuring that I move from just creating brand awareness to actual sales, getting the distributors, getting people to believe in a Nigerian brand. So getting past that mindset of this is a fully Nigerian brand and pushing that was also something I had to deal with. We've been able to train quite a number of people. So we, we held a program uh, last year where we trained um, high school leavers on how to become bookkeepers. So these are these are young people that would otherwise have just stayed at home while waiting to get admission into the university. We also started um, software trainings, accounting software trainings for undergraduates and, and that has really been you know, tremendous as well. So in terms of the gains that we've experienced over, over the years, it's been interesting uh, with regards to the number of clients we've worked with, even our own turnover and our own business operations, how we've grown operations wise. and. Uh, you know, it's been a huge learning experience, a very, very interesting one, and most definitely a rewarding one. My business idea is very unique, definitely. We turn trash to furniture pieces. Now, um, for the first time, at least I'm not aware, we're going to produce lamps and um, pendants, floor lamps, we're going to produce them in Nigeria, you know, and um, we're going to do this from scrap metals. Of course, we're enforced with new metals to give it um, strength. We also produce all kinds of furniture pieces and this, like I told you, we do from recycled materials. So it makes it affordable. It's environmental, environmentally friendly. So definitely our products are affordable, economically friendly, and environmentally pleasing. Sustainability is our key. Two will be evicted at the next boardroom session. Um, and one will be saved by the viewers and then the judges will save another so two will leave us by um, the next boardroom session when i started my business i was looking to create a niche like for a startup you want to be sure that you're providing a solution to a problem that currently exists so i noticed that the hair extensions business was growing rapidly in nigeria but there were no locally available hair products to cater to that market and that's where we came in. Then from our beauty services, we're ensuring that we're giving good quality salon services that people would expect to get abroad, but they're getting it here. Our staff are well trained. There's a focus on customer service and professionalism, you know, and then of course respect for individuals and clients. The future is great. The future for Enterprise Hill is data mining. We want to help every business to mine data from their own system to help ensure that this data that is coming out funnels itself into strategic decision making and by so doing we can help these businesses make better decisions, grow as a result, become profitable as a result and then create more sustainable businesses because for us it's all about getting Nigeria to become an SME driven economy. I'm happy that I'm going to be part of the people who would make a change in Nigeria, who would 
start the process of stopping importation of furniture pieces because that has made me break, that has broken my heart a lot because I've had to see clients spend a lot of money importing furniture pieces that are not even worth the stress. I say start small. I say you don't have to have everything. I say you don't have to wait because that's what a lot of people do. You wait and you're 50 and suddenly somebody else has done that. I would say make sure that you're starting wherever you can start and that whatever is in your hand, start with that. That's what I say to you. Many of us think finance is the capital. It is not. Right? Um, so finance, I always say, is like gasoline. It's like petrol. If you pour it on nothing is going to dry off. If you pour it on the ground, it's going to dry off. But if there is a spark and you pour gasoline on it, it booms. So what that means is you need to start from where you are. Everybody has got the capacity to start. By the time you start from where you are, you will find help along the way. If I gave up at some point, I would not have the opportunity to tell you that I, ha I can produce lamps, I can produce furniture pieces. So. So hopefully one day that thing you've always had in your mind, that vision you've had, it would cross the right path and you'll be able to meet the right person to sponsor that dream. So just don't give up. Some say Africa's golden era is gone. A time when great African kings and queens built their dreams into empires stretching across the continent and beyond. But we say a new era is upon us. A new set of African kings and queens are on the rise. Driven by the same wealth of character as the kings and queens before them. Building new empires of enterprise with the right partnership. So rise up wherever you are, new kings and queens of Africa. Embrace your full potential and be proud of your heritage. Heritage Bank, your timeless wealth partner.